Ralph David Abernathy. On this Martin Luther King Jr.'s day, it's good to remember those who fought with him, who was just as great as Ralph David Abernathy. It's to our benefit. This is not just to help Ralph David Abernathy, but it's to our benefit to remember those who do good, who did good for their people. And even he said in Ebony Magazine of January 1970 that all the decisions that Martin Luther King made, he did not make it without his approval. And King said that he was the closest one to him, ignored all of his philosophy. Now, there's a picture in January, like I said, of Ralph David Abernathy in the January Ebony Magazine. This is a, one of his pictures that they made there. And, and of course, this is a picture of his family also. Ralph David Abernathy. And it's not or it's pretty ironic. It's pretty ironic that most of our leaders, most our good leaders, are from the South. Like Martin Luther King Jr. and Ralph Athanathy, then Mark Vesey, Nat Turner. There is a strong ancestral power, ancestral power in the South, especially in Mississippi. Oprah Riffey also came from Mississippi. Bob Johnson, the founder of BET from Mississippi. Morgan Freeman, the actor, Mississippi, and many others. There's a strong ancestral spirit in the South, Alabama, and Mississippi, especially in Louisiana, and especially Mississippi and Alabama. And it's also ironic that a lot of the leaders is from the church. And a lot of the black women have the spirit, the Holy Spirit in them, despite the false teaching in the church. Because the women and some men intend. So they maintain the Holy Spirit in spite of what they're being taught in the church because they intend to bring out the spirit is in the mind. And what's ever the intent of the mind is manifest. So they maintain that spirit, especially the Pentecostal church. And an African guy once said that the same movement, he seen the woman behavior of shouting in, in America is the same way they do in, in, in Africa, many of the same church. So you should know the truth. And today, as I said, the main remembrance is our hero. And it do us good. <laughs> they are gone. But they're here in spirit and in mind. As long as their name is remembered, and they are remembered, they are alive. So Martin Luther King Jr. is alive. Ralph David Abernathy is alive when we call his name. And there's many streets that's also named out for Ralph David Abernathy, especially in Atlanta and in Alabama, his birthplace. So let us remember our heroes.